Hi, I'm Aymon, and welcome back to one of my home security and video surveillance systems videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this error message right here. Too much connection. And right here, let me just make sure you know it. Too much connection. And the reason that we're doing this video is because we looked up this error on the internet and we couldn't find a single thing, or we didn't find anything on what too much connection meant. So in this video, it's also meant to be an open forum for anyone who also got this uh, error and might be willing to discuss it in the comments. But in this video, we're going to show you what exactly led us to getting this error message so that you might be able to figure it out. And then we're going to discuss what might have caused it. So we have two different things that happened to us that led to this error message. The first thing is that we used a huge antenna. Now, this antenna compared to this stock antenna the stock antenna is around 3 decibels. This one is around 10 decibels. So we're going to guess that maybe... And what happened was we plugged this in for a few days and it worked. And then after a few days, it popped up with the error message too much connection with the big antenna. We think that might... What, I mean, I think at least what happened is that this is like 10 decibels and it might be too much information for a what's supposed to be interpreted as a 3 decibel message. But... That's, that's a thought for now, just food for thought. But another thing that happened to us is that we, let me show you, we actually used one of our cameras as a repeater for another one. And you can see that we have channel two and channel four, both of them, uh, one of that channel four is repeating to channel two, which is repeating to the NVR. And what's actually happening is that channel, uh, camera four isn't broadcasting because it's too much information. Now, the reason that my dad seems to think that this is happening, because as it implies, too much connection means that there's too much information going to the NVR. So the reason that this might happen is because in our home, we have, first we have the NVR, which is broadcasting its own Wi-Fi signal. Then we have a, a router that's uh, doing dual band, has 2.4 gigs and five gigs Wi-Fi. And then we have another Asus Wi-Fi in another room and then we have all these other cameras that are just broadcasting their own Wi-Fi. So what I think, or no, what we think is happening is that there's just too many Wi-Fi signals happening at the same time. They're all fighting with each other. And the NVR can't filter through all of it. Don't forget that we're not just, it's not just our house that's transmitting Wi-Fi signals. It's just everyone around us also is transmitting Wi-Fi signals. So maybe the camera that is using as a repeater cannot interpret and filter the Wi-Fi signals that were coming to it. So it was sending too much information to the NVR. So just to summarize, our argument is that, or what we think is happening is that there's just too much information, as it says, coming to the camera or to the NVR that it can't process or filter. So you gotta keep in mind here, I'm, I'm 15, I'm not a Wi-Fi engineer. I don't know how Wi-Fi works down to the bone. So if you do know, Please feel free to help us by sharing it in the comments and helping out other people who have Wi-Fi cameras and issues like this. Uh, or if you're just someone roaming through the comments or through these videos, feel free to leave a comment what you think. But my dad was uh, pretty furious or at a loss of words at this situation on exactly what to do. Because especially when you set up the repeaters wrong and you add uh, uh, a camera unintentionally, when you try to delete it, it's still gonna show up too, too much information. And then you have to reset it, but on these cameras, they don't have a reset button, so it's, it's tricky. You have to do a ton of finagling with it, you know, match code. But now we're gonna try to delete the camera that's being daisy chained in order to see what happens. And in order to do that, go to video manage, go to repeater. And in the past when we've tried to do this, it actually didn't work. It actually still showed the error message too much information. So what we had to do was go in and then take it out and we had to reset it by doing uh, just a, a ton of things. But we have a video on that, so go check that out if you want to. But for now, let's see what happens when you delete it. All I have to do is go to the repeater menu and then if you mouse over it, click delete. Information is incomplete. Delete failed. Okay. <laughs> what? Huh. Hmm. Yes, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's... So, we. I was trying to demonstrate what would happen if you tried to delete it, but you can't even delete it, it seems. So, uh, I guess you just have to... Hmm. 
Okay, so um, now that we're here, I think I think what my dad's done in the past is he's actually just rebooted the entire system so that this disappears. And all you have to do is click exit, click reboot, um, or click exit, then reboot. And then after that, it should disappear like that. But it just takes too much time to show on video. And I think that's just one of the drawbacks of using an, a, a, an IP camera as a repeater instead of using a dedicated repeater. So I guess that's a point in favor of the dedicated repeater as to why you should use it. So I guess we found another use for this uh, baby right here. Or maybe a better use of this. Um, I think one time deleting it actually did work, but it still did show the too much information. So might be something else to add on to it. But if this does happen to you and you can't delete it, what you would have to do is you'd have to manually take take the camera down. You'd have to connect it to the power supply, connect it with the Ethernet cable. And because this camera actually doesn't have a reset button, that's what you'd have to do. And you'd have to go in manually and reset it. We actually have a video on that, so go check it out if you need to. There's a couple of other ways if you don't want to bring in your camera just yet. Um, for example, you can... You, you can go to, you can select your camera, click modify, and then click factory settings, and hopefully that should factory reset it. The other method is just to click the Wi-Fi camera while it's in your added devices list, click manual edit if I remember correctly, and then click reboot IPC. So those are two of the methods that you could use. If, they, if neither of them work, then you're going to have to take it inside and do it manually. Right. All right, so we did the uh, manual reboot, already did it. And as you can see, now it says that it has a poor signal. So it's different from uh, too much connection, but uh, still kind of bad. At least, oh, um, hmm, okay, yes. <laughs> that's not good. So I think that's it. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I'm Ayman. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you might want to check out videos on how to extend or boost or strengthen the signal of your Wi-Fi cameras, how to set up a dedicated uh, repeater, or how to use a pan-tilt-zoom camera. That was a fun one, actually. But, like I said before, if you have any comments, uh, leave them down below in, in case you want to help out anyone or talk to anyone who is dealing with these cameras. But for now, I think that's it. Signing out. Peace.